Hi, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use blend modes to composite multiple layers of video and then nest them into one clip. I'm using an example from my Brain Buffet course on Premiere Pro, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam. Okay, next I wanted to talk to you about a really cool way of playing around with the opacity of two different clips, and that's blend modes. So let's go back to our project panel. In fact, I'm gonna to go to assembly mode and thumbnail view and open up the video. I wanted to show you that it's pretty easy to be able to tell which clips you've already used. And remember we had we had talked about actually in thumbnail view these this column that we had added. And you can see I've used the all of these and I haven't used tracking post one. So that's one way to do it in list view is to make sure that you added that column. Another way in thumbnail view is you can see that there's this little extra icon here right there. And that means that I've added that to, and if you ever even hover over it, it says used one time. Let's see if I drag and drop this down here and then hover over it, it'll say used two times. Excellent. So that's kind of a cool way. Let me go ahead and delete that. All right. So let's grab this shot that I haven't used yet. Tracking polls. I'm going to go back to simple edit. Double click on that. Where is it? Tracking polls. There we go. Okay, that'd be that a cool spot from there to there. It's a little further, too far away. Um, but it, you're flying your helicopter, and we were up on this hill way up here, so it's a little hard to see exactly what you're doing, and, and um, so we were being careful. All right, let's throw this onto track two, and let's overlay it. Oh, by the way, remember we had changed the labeling color of those three clips earlier, and that's there's the new labeling color. All right, so how about if we do this? Let's stretch this shot out, actually. Right click, set to poster frame or frame size. That's a good one. And mm, you can't see it. Actually, you know, it'd be kind of cool is to have it on top of this tracking shot. So two tracking shots. I want them to last the same length. So what's a great and easy way to stretch this out? That's right, the rate stretch tool. So let's grab the rate stretch tool. I'm gonna stretch that out. There we go. Now, right now you can only see track two. First of all, this line right here the default for that line is opacity. Remember, if you can right click on it, you can see that opacity is the default. So if I drag this line down, say to 41%, you could see the two clips layered over the top of each other. So that can be kind of cool. Let's stretch this back up because that's not actually what I wanted to show you. With this clip selected, let's come over here to our effect controls. I'm gonna close motion down and open up opacity. Earlier I talked to you about an opacity mask and remember you can click on this and that could be my opacity mask. That's kind of cool. And I scrub through it. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted. So let's click on the mask and delete it. All right. Underneath that is this blend modes thing and blend modes are actually pretty darn cool. So it actually blends the pixels together with the two layers. So if you click on this, there's all sorts of cool ones and try to pick one. So how about linear light? Ooh, that's neat. That is cool. And they kind of go together, go towards each other. Whoa, that is freaky. All right, so uh, just click on it and start playing around until you find the one that you know looks fun to you. That you're like, that's cool. That's what a blend mode looks like. The last thing I wanted to show you is, let's say you're happy. I love having these two things to you know together, and I just want to kind of zoink them down into one clip. Right now they're two different clips and I love the way that these blended together and I want to zoom them down. So I'm going to select both of them and you can hold shift down and select two things or I could do a marquee selection with click and drag across those. So with both of them selected, if you right click, you can do what we call nest. So I'm going to hit nest. Let's me give, you know, give it a name. I'm going to call this blend clips. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And you notice that now it just looks like a single clip. It's green, kind of like that um, multicam thing that we did. And if we go over here, I'm going to go to assembly mode. And if we come over here, we've got this new sequence. So basically, it just makes a new sequence. So let's drag blend clips and drop it right there. 
So that's how you nest something. And we're going to actually play around with that a little bit more in a future tutorial. Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.